Hey okay, guys, I did uh, the prescribed. I'm supposed to do, sorry, I forgot to do a little intro. I'm supposed to do um, 315, sorry, 310 for max uh, reps, uh, but 10 is the ceiling. I hit 10, but also I'm pinching on my calf. right now and then we got 315 five sets of three should be fast and easy but 60 second rest in between so here it goes what is up guys welcome back uh, I want to address the calf pain that I had while squatting when I watch the video again and slowed it down you'll see that my hamstrings uh, are actually pressing down on my calf on my right leg and you'll see when that happens, I kind of sink into the, into my squat. And in order to finish up the set, I had to adjust uh, my squat and not squat as deep as the previous reps. Uh, otherwise, the pain would have been too excruciating to continue. Now, I've had some calf pain before uh, while squatting, but this was the <laughs> absolute worst pain I've ever had or ever felt before. Uh, after rolling out my calf, uh, the following five sets felt perfectly normal. Uh, <laughs> the ironic thing about all of this is that one of my friends was just asking me how to get rid of calf pain while squatting a few days prior to this. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to make a video addressing uh, how to prevent or minimize that calf pain while you squat, uh, if you've ever got that. And then hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully it will help you guys out uh, if you guys have gone through that pain or are going through that pain or even just preventing this from ever happening. But from that first set, I increased five pounds and did five sets of three with about a minute rest. Now, if you're new to powerlifting or compound movements or uh, overall strength training, generally these are not exercises you want to rush through. Uh, it's a bit different than bodybuilding where you want minimal rest uh, or that sweet spot of 60 to 90 seconds. Um, you want to be able to go into the next set rested enough 
where you're recovered but not completely cool down so it takes some time to figure out where that is um, everyone is different when it comes to this some people take upwards of 10 minutes for me it's generally within the five to seven minute range uh, anything more than that and I start getting cold so in the grand scheme of things me being able to do 315 um, for five sets of three with minimal rest time basically means one thing just getting stronger well that was a bitch uh, I haven't trained like that in a long time as far as like minimal rest time in between as you can see dripping sweat so yeah it's fun though it's, I think that's the first one I've ever done well clean or the right way like that low of sets and reps together definitely that low of sets and reps with minimal rest yeah pretty fun now I'm gonna do some uh, block pulls see how that feels uh, we'll see I think I'm gonna just work up to 365 so let's see how I feel the point of that is to kinda I don't want to be near failure when I'm doing that but see you on the platform now this is the first time ever doing blog polls. I've done rack polls in the past but never blog polls. And if you guys don't know what a blog pull is, it's basically a deadlift from a higher platform, plates or blocks if your gym has them. And you can't get a good view here but you'll see the blocks uh, at a better angle in the next set. And the reason I switched to this is because I noticed that I was moving the weight well off of the floor but my lockout was suffering tremendously and uh, this exercise should help me tackle that since it mainly focuses on the lockout portion of the deadlift. I kept it fairly light here so I could just work on my form especially this being the first time I've ever done these I'll probably be switching back and forth between these and deficits just depending on where I see my deadlift going and where I notice I need the most help. I was in here for you! Last one. Or maybe saying? number five. Yeah? Yeah, everyone else was absolutely perfect. Everyone else or every other rep? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Still on, really? <laughs> Such a bitch. Life of fatty. That Egyptian vein, though. Are you done? I don't know, are you? No. It's <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Say something, Kayla. Good job. What do you got to say about that? I know. <laughs>